so in the previous lecture I have just shown that how uh, edit or grid level or anything so in this lecture I am just going to show that how will define our materials property okay so for that first of all we will come here manage and from manage we will come here materials so I'll just click materials okay and from here you have to select materials type so here it's showing materials types wall so I'll click here and from here as I'm uh, creating a concrete structure so I'll click here concrete okay so after click creating concrete here you have to select which types of material you want to use so concrete lightweight a uh, concrete normal weight concrete so here many types of properties are available so what will what I will use actually so concrete normal weight from here or they have three three KSI four case and five KSI okay so if you want to use any of that then it's okay otherwise what you can do that you can uh, I mean um, you can edit that so how will you did that suppose here I will select that on after that I will come here by clicking here duplicate selected materials so I'll click here so this is duplicate and from here you see here it's duplicate and by pressing pressing uh, backspace we can uh, write here so C concrete two eight zero zero PSI okay so actually this is the concrete properties requirement for my structure so this is okay 2800 PSI so after that I'll click anywhere and see here it is now after that I'll just go for its properties change so here identity has the we have provided that identity or we can also uh, create from here so description so from here if you want to change the description you can change that so concrete 2.8 KSI okay and class what is which types of materials that is concrete okay uh, this is concrete after that they have many as per the requirement you can select that and if you want to give anything here you can give that after that we'll just go graphics so I'll not change anything from here and appearance so how it will look like so here you can also change that we'll do not do anything here and finally I'll just come here physical this is the most important part so from here information if you need to change any information so concrete I'll change it 2.8 KSI okay and uh, concrete FC prime what is 2.8 KSI I hope it's okay and head standard source autodex uh, it's okay after that here the therm basic thermal thermal expansion coefficient so here you can change that as per your requirement if you have any requirement I'll just go here mechanical so from mechanical behavior which types of which uh, types of behavior it will show orthographic transverse isographic so it will be isotrophic clear and here Young's modulus what will be the Young's modulus actually so you have to maintain the data okay so what will be Young's modulus by to find out that Young modulus okay what do we have to do actually to find out that Young modulus okay so that is for uh, this Young modulus that was for this that value okay so th th that that is for our 3 KSI materials but we have to give a data for 2.8 KSI so how I will modify that so you have to uh, find out that value as per your code requirement so I'm just finding out okay so actually for I mean as per ACI for 
2.8 ksi that will be 3016 so i'll just give here that data i'll just simply give here young modulus 3 3016 clear so in this way you have to define that data okay and density what is the density actually here density are given 100 uh, 50 2.8 or it's okay okay so it's okay actually sorry so it's okay after that i'll just come here concrete and from concrete what will be the uh, concrete compression that will be 2. Point 2.8 ksi okay and shear strength modification so here shear strength modification i'll consider that will be one okay otherwise uh, you can <coughs> take it as per your requirement and here yield strength and tensile strength okay so i will uh, do not do anything here okay yield strength or for tensile strength i will um, don't do anything for um, from here and if you have that value from your lab test then you can provide here that value okay so this is for concrete or all uh, i mean or everything is okay so for thermal thermal property you can give here for your thermal property but i will not change anything because um, this is not so required so i'll simply click apply i'll click okay so so finally we have uh, defined our materials properties and we are also able to define our materials properties like that and if you need different materials property then you can come here materials and from here as uh, we have selected that one uh, you can take it a copy so by clicking here duplicate selected materials so by clicking here like that you can take a copy of it like that and after that uh, by changing its name same way you can do what we have done in previous for our c2800 psi so thank you and also if you need to change that data pattern like that by clicking here you can change its pattern which, which, which pattern you want to give here actually so this is for concrete so i'll just consider that on how close like that i hope uh, you have understand that how we'll define that materials but i'll just click cancel so it's done and in your next lecture i'll show that how we'll define our section properties for beam column slab wall or any other things we record for our that project so thank you thank you very much stay connected till next video